Today was the launch of NVIDIA's RTX 3060 and it's another big mess, another really frustrating launch for pretty much 99% of the people. I went personally to Micro Center to see how the situation was like and I tried to get one online and trust me, you're going to want to hear this because it's just as frustrating as everything else. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Some say if you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, your place in line at Micro Center, if you're standing there to get a GPU, goes up by as many as five people. And if you smash it for every single video, a new Micro Center opens up near wherever you live and you have 30% better chances of getting a GPU. All right, so let's talk about the RTX 3060. Now, we mentioned yesterday that the release date was gonna be today, the time that it was released at was 12 p.m. and I decided to try to get one two ways. First, I was going to go in person to Micro Center, but primarily I wanted to see if I could actually get it online as I have been able to do so with other GPUs. And trust me when I say this, this is a very frustrating story. And if I was frustrated with it and I have a lot of experience looking for GPUs, I can only imagine that most people were as well. So first, let's talk about Micro Center. Now, if I really wanted one that bad, a 3060, I definitely would have gotten to Micro Center considerably earlier, maybe been, you know, a few hours before they open, just to make sure that I could get a place in line. But as it is, I got there maybe an hour or so before the 12 p.m. time mark. Now, 12 p.m. is when this GPU is supposed to be released. This seems to count not only for online, but also for the physical Micro Center store. So as soon as I got there pretty much a line across the block like there must have been it looked like over a hundred people everybody pretty close together which is you know a little bit risky to begin with with the current climate that we have in the world but regardless a lot of people so i thought to myself all right i'm definitely not going to wait in that line and i want to go into micro center anyway to get some other stuff i needed to get some coolant for it you know a liquid cool build so i went to the front door and they said that's only for people waiting for gpus and they're turning people away already because even before the 12 p.m release they pretty much had sold out what micro center does they're going to give you a little voucher so you can wait in line so i went in the store right away i didn't wait in line for the gpu and of course i went straight to the diy the PC building area and I asked them all right I know I'm not going to get a 3060 because of this big line and they didn't seem to get stock of anything else of like 3070s or 3080s or even AMD GPUs normally they will get stock during a big launch day um, and I also asked them how many GPUs did you actually get for the 3060 and the guy there at Micro Center said they got maybe around 90 GPUs now right off the bat some people may say wow 90 that's a lot but really it's not a lot at all I mean, this is a micro center in like pretty close to a major metropolitan area. And especially if you consider the huge amount of, uh, you know, a lack of GPUs that we've had for months and months, everybody's pretty much going to want to buy whatever GPU comes out. So 90, especially for a 3060, which is going to be a little bit cheaper. It's really, really nothing at all. It's not going to, you know, meet any demand. In fact, when the 3070 came out, there were more GPUs at this micro center than the 3060. I remember there were well over 100 GPUs. GPUs. And in fact, even throughout the day, they still had them in stock. So the 3060, definitely people went after them considerably more. And for a lot of people that even wanted to wait in line, and if they got there late, they were pretty much turned away. And of course, I wasn't able to get anything at all. So I just browsed through the store. So that's the story in person. If I really had wanted one, I definitely would have had to have been there in line hours and hours before. I would say at least maybe two or three hours or maybe before the store even opened. Because simply put, you're not going to have enough GPUs to go around, especially in a major area like that with the demand that we have. So 90 GPUs sold out pretty much instantly. And since the GPUs were not even really listed on the website and they weren't out for show, I couldn't really take a look at the pricing too much. But from the little bit that I asked around, of course, the 3060 and of course, Micro Center sells at MSRP. They're going to be one of the cheaper places to get these GPUs. But pretty much all of the GPUs were more expensive than the $329 
$50 MSRP that technically they're supposed to be for some of the lower end models. But of course, when you have something like an Asus Strix or other GPUs like that, they were selling for considerably more money than that MSRP would even suggest. In fact, it's money that we thought you could have gotten in the past at 3070. In fact, the prices seem to surpass what even the 3060 Ti was going to be and pretty much seems to be on par with the original MSRP of a 3070. So that's definitely pretty crazy to consider that a 3060, which is basically two levels below a 3070, if you consider the 3060 Ti in the middle, it's priced pretty much at or over the 3070 in many cases. And of course, the 3070 itself is now priced in many cases well above what the 3080 was supposed to be. In fact, even that 3070 MSI Supreme that I did a video on, that one is well over $800 now, which is pretty far off the $699 3080 MSRP, not to mention over $300 off from the 3070 itself. So, okay, I had no luck in person at a micro center. Of course, I wasn't trying that hard. Like I said, I have to be there very early and then most likely I would have been able to get a GPU. So I decided to try my luck with all of the different websites that I'm used to. We're talking about Newegg, Best Buy, maybe a little bit of Amazon. And of course, I tried all of those. I had the notifications on pretty much all day and I pretty much was not able to get a GPU either. The 3060 seemed to sell out pretty much at the same fast rate as all of the other GPUs that came before it, including the 3070, 3090, and 3080. Now, that's a little bit surprising because we would have thought that the 3060, especially after Nvidia announced some pretty major mining specific limitations on the GPU, basically, if it detects that the GPU is going to be mining Ethereum or something like that, it's going to sort of cut in half its hash rate, therefore making the GPU considerably less appealing to miners. But if that's going to be effective or not, I think that's going to be a long-term play because at least in the immediate vicinity of the release, these GPUs sold out pretty much instantly and they're nowhere to be found. Now, in the long term, this may actually even hurt gamers. Figure the casual gamer that bought a 3060 to game with, but maybe they wanted to leave it mining overnight to make up some of their investment now pretty much they're going to be the ones mostly affected by this and of course i still think most likely miners will buy them if there's nothing else available maybe they'll just have to put up with sort of the much less mining capabilities of the gpu so that doesn't really end all of the issue and then let's talk about an important point what about the gpu itself the 3060 let's leave aside the issue of availability of course a lot of people seem just as crazy to get it as they did the 3070 or the 3060 Ti, but that's not really justified if you look at the actual specs and performance of the GPU. As we've seen some of these benchmarks, it's performing on par or slightly better than something like a 2060 Super, so it's not really a generational leap like we saw with the 3080 that just seemed to have pretty bonkers performance. I think with the 3080, people sort of quietly accepted the fact that the MSRP went up because the performance on the 3080 was pretty much the level of like a TI GPU that people felt for $700 was, you know, pretty good. I think it's it's a pretty good performance to value proposition. So when people saw that price jump to 900 or 1000, even though nobody really liked it, at least they figured, well, it's still cheaper than the 2080 Ti was and you're getting a considerable more amount of performance. Now, the 3060 is a different story because it's not that much better than the previous generation. I mean, it has 12 gigabytes of VRAM, but not that many people are really gonna be able to utilize that unless you're doing some specific app and content creation. And of course, for gaming, 12 gigabytes of VRAM is pretty Pretty much useless. I mean, you're not going to use a 3060 to game at 8K or even 4K very high resolution. That would be reserved for something like a 3090 or 3080. Maybe a 3080 could use 12 gigabytes of VRAM, especially GDDR6. That would be useful in a GPU like that. But for a 3060 to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I think it looks basically just like a maybe like a marketing ploy. So you can see, oh, 12 gigabytes of VRAM, the GPU must be good. Maybe for the average consumer, they're not going to know that something like a 3060 Ti, which is only a little bit more expensive than the 3060 is going to be considerably better for gaming performance and of course something like the 3070 even more so. So it's not that the 3060 is a bad GPU at all. I mean it's still going to give you pretty good performance. It's on par with a lot of the higher end GPUs from last generation. Like I said it beats a 2060 Super which wasn't really a bad GPU at all and generally we should expect the 3060 to be pretty much the most popular GPU as time goes on. Normally that would be the case with the 
2060 or the 1060 as we've seen if you look at sort of like the steam stats but considering the 3060 has much less potential in terms of mining it's going to be less attractive to a larger amount of people but for gamers specifically, I mean, the price just seems way too high to really be sold in the amount that a 1060 or a 2060 Super were sold at. 2060 Super at like $299 actually seems like a very fair price. But a 3060, as it starts to get into the four and $500 range, as we're seeing with these inflated MSRP prices, I'm not sure if it's going to have quite the same level of influence as the previous 60 series GPUs did. So it's definitely a bit of a lukewarm GPU. It's not terrible, but it's really not all that exciting either. The 3060 just being close to a 2060 Super certainly is not making the situation very exciting. And considering the amount of headache and work you have to go through to be able to attain one of these GPUs, it certainly seems like your time would be better spent trying to get a 3070 or a 3080 where you're going to get a much higher tier GPU and they're going to be just as easy or difficult, if you want to put it that way, to get as a 3060. All right, guys, so leave a comment below. I want to know if you tried to get the 3060 today. What do you think of the launch situation? What do you think of the GPU itself? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.